I added another vehicle to my collection. And it's not a three cylinder, it's not a fuel economy vehicle. No, it's a school bus. That's right, I bought me a school bus. Some stuff done today. Then, when you come into the back of the bus, look at all that room. We got all the holes in the floor patched, a little bit of welding there, a little patch panel there, and then up here on the front. So right now we're using this uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Inhibitor Primer, and we are painting the floor. And as you see, I am almost done. I got the tar paper down on the bottom, quarter inch insulation, and then 5 8 plywood. I was really worried about the roof height because this roof is like 6 foot 2. I'm 6 foot tall, so I didn't want to lose a whole lot of height. I'm not a carpenter, I'm not a plumber, I'm not an electrician. I've never done construction or carpentry work, but I think I did a really good job on this bus. I mean, this floor looks pretty good for a rookie. The whole goal of this bus is to make it completely off-grid, 12 volt. Um, it's going to have two 100 watt solar panels on the roof. Uh, right in front of me, right behind the driver's seat, I'm going to have deep cycle batteries, power inverter, 12 volt outlets. I'm going to have my solar system monitor, my switch box. So when you first walk up on the bus, you've got your switch panel. You can turn on your dome light, your water pump. You can turn on your accessories. Uh, you'd be surprised how many 12 volt items are actually out there. I mean, coffee pots, TV, DVD combos. There's a lot of items out there that run on 12 volt. Um, I will have 110 volt plug-in capability, but those are only going to be for luxury items. Or worst case scenario, if the sun fails me, I can plug a battery charger in and charge up my batteries. I'm going to say I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put that there. And, you know, you can say all you want, but once, once it comes down to actually building it, you know, it's, everything's going to change. So that's where we're at right now for episode 5. The subfloor is done. It's a big thing for me. I'm glad I got it done. i got framing to do. I've got to frame out all these walls. I'm going to insulate the ceiling. i got to tear it down, take a look at the insulation. I'm probably going to rip it all out and start over. And I'm thinking I want to put this ceiling back up. I like it. I like the metal ceiling. It's not going to be green, though. That cute green color is nasty. end up painting that white. So, I mean, it worked out really good. I'm really happy with the outcome so far. I mean, like I said, I'm not a plumber. I'm not a carpenter. I'm not an electrician. I am a mechanic. I work on diesel trucks, RVs. I work on pretty much everything. And I did my part when I found this bus. This is a really good, mechanically sound, solid bus. And I'm very happy with that. Very happy. So, now I can just, you know, build it the way I want to, enjoy it. Have fun building it. It's going to be awesome. I mean, so, what I'm going to ask you guys is like, subscribe. If you want to see more, you know, build videos, you know what, I don't give a shit. You don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. I'm still going to make videos. That's up to you. I'm going to make videos for my own personal log of the bus build. So, I hope you enjoyed the update today. Uh, this here is my battery distribution box. I'm going to have my deep cycle batteries and battery boxes down there. And I'm going to have the panel right here in the front. So like I said, when you walk up on the bus, you can hit your switches, your meters, and everything will be right there. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, it took me a lot longer to build that than I thought because I had to support it really good because I don't want this thing moving around. So she's on there pretty good right now. So I'm happy. So I got both the solar panels installed on the roof of the bus on the passenger side and we got the fantastic fan she's all installed all sealed up and the electrical cables for the solar panels are also sealed up and we also went around and sealed up anything else that looked like you know it might need attention so there's the connectors right there um, as you can see here we got this lap sealant in the screws and all the way around. Let me take you inside. Um, let's see, sorry about the mess inside the bus here. Uh, we've been busy working and all, but uh, 
This here is the uh, garnish with the fantastic fan, and there's the fan right there installed. Um, right here is the switch for three speeds. You got your fuse here, and this knob here allows you to open the vent cover just like that. Cool. Totally radical. Totally radical. Let's see if this works. I got this all hooked up. Solar charge controller. Two 6 volt golf cart batteries wired and series to give me 12 volts DC, 12 volts running to the fuse box, negative ground, bus bar, power inverter. I still have to hook up the big fuses yet. I'm going to do that, but I want to test it first. So, power inverter, turn her on, plug something in. Look at that. Free power from the sun. Love it. Let's see if I got 12 volts. We ran wiring up here. Fantastic fan. And look at that. So, as you can see, the wood grain really came out beautiful on the cabinets. Look really, really nice. And I also got some 2x4 stained up for um, these are the ones that are going to be cut and put around in between the windows. And we also stained the tops of these 2x4s here that will be visible in the bus. I've been doing some insulating. I got the right stuff this time. Um, the water pump is in, water filter. And uh, earlier I showed you the spout, so I actually have the water fill and the tube plumbed into the tank. The last thing I have to do here with the tank is I want to put a drain in the bottom, so if I ever have to drain the water tank, I can do that. Um, I pre-wired the pump. Now, I don't want to run, uh, run the pump too long, but just so you can... There's the water pump. The front bench with storage is already done we've got to get some cushions on that um, all the cupboards have been bolted in place the countertop is in the sink is in the upper cabinet is in he's going to put a, a fascia covering piece on this side here um, he's also going to do my skylight for me since it's here and um, I did get the ceiling sanded, but I did not get it painted in time. But I do want to show you all that uh, this cabinet here is also complete. We even got the handles. The stove is in place. We have the wall behind the stove. The refrigerator is also framed in. And what's pretty cool is he was nice enough to... Uh, Make this nice little storage cabinet. So that's pretty slick. This is going to be the bathroom area, which he's working on now. And as you see back here, he has already started on the shower. We got the shower walls in. We are building a wall across the back of the bus. So the bed will be here, like I said. And I'm thinking we're going to have just enough room here for a small cabinet. Pretty much the inside of this bus, minus painting the ceiling, is done. I just got done with this. I'll turn the old power on. Check it out, we have television, plus this television will articulate and move around wherever you need it. It has an articulating arm on it and it's working out just right. So as you see we can swing this baby all the way out to here, we can turn it this way, turn it that way. 
and then when we're ready to put it away for storage we just simply push it all the way back just like so pretty cool huh I also trimmed this off believe it or not this is recycled material when we redid the kitchen in the house we had these uh, corner pieces on the walls for the tile. I cleaned them up and put them on here to finish it off. This light under here now works. These lights here now work. Splash shield for the stove. Pretty cool, huh? The shower. The bed. Very comfortable. Very comfortable bed. This is a hybrid mattress that I showed you in an earlier video. We tried it out last night, and oh yeah, it works good. So the bedroom looks very nice. And like I said, this thing is pretty much done, minus painting the ceiling. The bathrooms are all ready to go. A few more odd and ends thing we have to do. Um, I want to hang this yet. I want to show you something. I'm going to turn everything on cabin lights, porch light, LED light strips. We'll go ahead and turn the TV on too. Now, we're going to see the stereo is on, the TV is on, every light except, whoops, let me turn this one on too. So every light is pretty much on. Let's see what we're drawing here for juice. I don't know if you can see that too well. Here we go. So, with everything on, 8 amps, 119 watts. That's a little bit more than a, yeah, 100 watt bulb in a house. So, how can you go wrong there? Like I said, this entire bus is a 12 volt build. The only thing that is 110 volt is the refrigerator. I do not have that on, but once I do fire it up, I will recheck the meter and see what we got going for draw. So with 230 amp hour batteries drawing less than 10 amps, we are good to go. We are absolutely good to go. I'm glad I took my time taping it off, making sure everything looked good. Basically, right now, the bus needs a bath. All the windows need washed. But, uh, man, I never want to paint a bus again. I'm telling you, I am sore. My legs hurt. My hips hurt. Climbing up and down the ladder was no fun. And uh, I'm just glad it's done. And if I get five years out of this paint job, I'll be happy. I used oil-based paint. It's rust inhibitive. It should last a long time. Check it out.